All right, so this is day three of band camp. A uh, relatively easy day today, actually. I'm not nearly as exhausted or sore as the last few days. Um, most of that is because today, uh, Professor Schultz decided to uh, basically cancel evening rehearsal because there's a hair on my dresser. That's not why. Um, <laughs> because uh, we apparently are doing so fantastic that he had to go home and write drills for us because we're way ahead of what he expected us to be, which is awesome. And that meant that uh, all of the sections did bonding activities tonight. All the section leaders were supposed to come up with some sort of bonding activity for their section. We were supposed to do that during the time that we were supposed to have marching rehearsal. So the flutes all went over to uh, Rachel Cheddar's apartment and uh, we watched a movie. We had movie night and we all brought snacks and stuff. So there was puppy chow and Chex Mix and uh, Cheez-Its and popcorn. I brought lots of popcorn. I brought like eight bags of popcorn. We only ate like half of it and it was really funny because I ended up with four bags to bring back with me. And uh, we had some kind of a rice crispy roll or something that was really good that Rachel made. And we watched Stardust and everybody laughed hysterically and everybody awed at all the right moments and it was really fun. So, and uh, then after that we came back for devotion and everything and it was kind of an interesting devotion. And then our game tonight was uh, each team sent two team members. Well, first we did a shoe race. So each team sent eight team members wearing tennis shoes up on stage. And they did two teams at a time, and you had to race, you, you, it was like a, a uh, what's the word, a relay race. So you had one person at a time from each team run down, put their shoes on, tie them, and run back, and tag the next person. So uh, then after that, we each sent two people up to the stage, and one person just stood there. And the other person squirted whipped cream all over their face, just covered their face, and then they had to throw Cheetos at them and try to get them to stick. And whoever got the most to stick won. So, uh, and I think my team actually tied for first. We had nine, which was the same as blue, blue team. It was the same as blue team, who won the shoe race, by the way. And so, uh, yeah, it was an interesting night. But it was a lot easier day than it has been lately. And, you know, it was nice to get that break and my foot doesn't hurt. Oh my goodness, I just realized that. My foot doesn't hurt. Um, it was hurting all day, all morning. Oh, no, no, it does. If I take my shoes off, it does. But still, it doesn't hurt as much, and that's awesome. So anyway, um, even marching this morning was relatively easy, though. I don't know, it's, it's strange. I think I might actually be getting used to this, which would be kind of scary. <laughs> But uh, texted Brian again today. I miss him. Um, haven't heard from Liz still. Don't know what's going on with her. But Victoria apparently missed her first class. I've got something on my blog or something. Anyway, she missed her first night class and only night class because she forgot she had it. And apparently, it's like the actual orientation class or whatever. So, uh, fail. But uh, let's see. Lunch today was decent. Dinner tonight was amazing. Oh, we had like potatoes and some kind of really spicy chicken and peas. Lots and lots and lots of peas. And that made me really happy. I like peas. And um, so I uh, picked up my flute today because it apparently is not fixable, which is not good. <laughs> uh, I kind of need that. And I need a flute that works that I can march with and this one is not that flute, apparently. So I have to call my dad and get him to mail me my emergency flute if we can find it. <laughs> so, uh, hope for the best on that. But, uh, let's see, what else did I do today? Watched very little TV, actually. The last two days I was just so exhausted at lunch and stuff that I just come in and plop in my chair and just turn on the TV and kind of die for an hour, <laughs> but uh, I got a nice bike ride over to the music store. I hung out in the music store for like 50 minutes, actually. It was a really long time, and I looked through all their music. They don't carry a whole lot of guitars, though. It's kind of disappointing. They carry like Fenders and Squires, and I was like, it. You know, no Ibanez, no 
boa, tecamine, you know, no PVs, no, you know, nothing. It was just fenders and squires, and it was kind of disappointing. And uh, all they've got is keyboards, too. Just like these big, like, Clavinova style keyboards, you know, nothing small. So that was a little disappointing. But I looked through a lot of their sheet music, and they had some really cool Broadway books that I might have to save up for. So that'd be kind of fun. Uh, I'm really energetic tonight. I don't know why. I'm never going to get to sleep tonight. And I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning and be like, ah, why did I stay up so late? And then I'll be like, oh, yeah, because last night I had energy, and now I don't. But we'll deal with that when it comes. Um, I was actually going to try something new tonight. I was going to try recording this directly to YouTube, but YouTube just kind of fails. Which is why I'm loading the... I don't... Whatever. Anyway, YouTube fails. End of story. So, uh... Yeah. <sighs> I talk really, really fast. Oh, hey, so... Ironically, wearing the Wicked t-shirt today, something spilled in my book bag some point like something leaked or something and most of my leg is green it's really funny here hold on let's see if we can uh, there we go ta-da as all of my friends know I played the Wicked Witch of the West in the spring musical last year and so this is my true colors coming out again I don't know if you can see the green on this leg there's like little green streaks all down it but uh, it's definitely there on this one. Nice big green splotch. So, uh, yeah, all of my friends back home will get a kick out of seeing this. But uh, I had fun trying to explain that, especially since there is nothing green in my book bag at all. In my book bag was my flute, possibly my music, my water bottle, and my bug spray. The bug spray is clear, and the can is orange. And that was it. Oh, and possibly my keys and my wallet. And then my cell was in the front pocket, but, excuse me, the front pocket didn't even get wet. So, don't know where the green came from. I'm trying to figure out if, like, the ink bled out of the bag or something. Or I used to have a lot of green pens, and they'd, like, leak on my bag, possibly. So I don't know if it, like washed the ink off of my bag and just leaked it all down my leg. I don't know, but it won't come off. I, I just, I eventually got it off my hands. I washed them a couple times and it eventually came off my hands, but the stuff on my leg, I just can't get rid of it. I'm going to like scrub it tonight and see if it'll go away. <laughs> but uh, I'm just finding that very, very funny. So, I don't know, it's been a relatively uneventful day other than canceling evening practice. Uh, I'm working on a song for the talent show on Friday, or next Friday, and uh, I think I'm going to call it New Beginnings, kind of like the theme for this week or whatever. So, but uh, it should be good. Can't give you a sample yet. That's kind of like my policy. Otherwise, I totally would, but, you know, take what you can get. Um, let's see. Is there anything else? I don't think, I think that's pretty much it, actually. Oh, hey, I'm on my laptop loading this because IT got me online today. Yay for ONU IT department. Because uh, I couldn't find my serial number on my laptop. Yeah, I couldn't find the serial number on this thing. So they showed me and it was like pathetically easy to find and I felt kind of dumb. But then it was okay because it kept being dysfunctional anyway, so they had to help me fix that. And so we got it all worked and I'm online! Yay! So another round of applause for the ONU IT department. Yay! Thank you guys. And uh, I think that's pretty much it for the evening. So I am going to text Brian and then uh, probably call my family. And I'm going to go to bed. Good night.